Yo, what's up, my boys and girls? How you guys all doing today? I'm gonna be teaching you guys, giving you the easiest tutorial on YouTube on how to get DS4 Windows, even other softwares like also like Anti Micro and stuff like that to make your input delay on controller literally nothing. Please, please, please use code Racking Lime Shop. I would really appreciate it. it. Really does help me a ton. Easiest way to support me. And yeah, please hit the like button, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And yeah, let's get into the tour. Don't want to waste any of your time. And if you like the energy, hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, let's get into the video. Siri has on to beat for some reason. Anyways, hey Siri, please beatbox for me. Beat, beatbox. Beat, 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 beatbox. Beat okay. and box. Beat and box and 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 beat and box. No, I couldn't possibly. So the first thing what you're going to want to do here is just make a new uh, new Chrome or whatever the case is, and then you're gonna want to search for your WinRAR download. The link for it will be the first thing down in the description. You're just gonna go want to download it. This this is a, so important. You can't do anything else without this. You have to go download. This. Just click download and you follow through to the steps. It's really easy. Okay, starting off on this tutorial, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to this website. It'll be linked down below. And what you're going to want to do is click a download zip. I've done a lot of these steps before, so I'm just gonna run it through with you. So yeah, just follow. Carefully. So once you click downloads up, you're going to want to go to your downloads folder and find it over here. Okay, so once you've downloaded, yeah, I've already downloaded, like I said, you want to go to your downloads folder. I already have moved it to a private folder, so basically I've moved it to a zero input delay folder, but it should be in your downloads, it should be the first thing in your downloads folder. So once you click here, you're going to want to right click and say extract here. Is then going to bring this up then once you've clicked on the folder you're going to want to say extract here on the top file over here so you can click extract here and once that's happened you're going to click on driver it's going to pop up at the top over here you're going to click on driver you're going to click on setup click run administrator you know the vibe and it's going to say this is the 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 strat you know what i'm saying then you're going to click on the devices over here devices it says probably going to say my something like that you're going to click on all right my thing over here. you seem to find out where your controller is mine over here is wireless controller over here and then what the settings are going to usually be is it's going to say filter on device that's going to be off and it's going to say default right so what you're going to want to do is you're going to click filter on device then you're going to say a thousand on your polling rate and then you're going to click install services right you're going to unplug your controller uh, so it disappears you're going to re-plug it in wait a little second and if it says yes a thousand and one you have the right place maybe click restart or just give it a refresh whatever the case is and you're in the right position you're doing really well okay so with this change already you already notice the difference with your zero input like you already feel different but i can take it two steps further there's one with ds4 windows and there's one with anti-micro that i can show you guys but yeah um Moving on from there, we're going to show you how to take it a little bit further. So once you've done the step where you, at that part where you just change your polling rate or whatever the case, you just close it or whatever the case, and then we're going to go to anti-marker, the thing that I mainly use. So once you've done with this point over here, you're just going to literally close it once you see yes, thousand and one on your controller, whatever the case is, you're just going to close it and you're chilling from there. Then I'm going to go through the next step of what I basically use, which will help you a lot with getting more into them. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go download anti-micro. So you're going to click here, it's going to start downloading. It takes a little bit of time and yeah, you're in the right spot. Okay, so don't get sussed out. This is not macros. This is anti-micro. It's a micro, not macro. So don't stress out too much. And once you, So then what you're going to want to do is you want to go click on anti-micro, open up the folder, and then this is what should come up here. Mine, I've already done the settings, so it's going to come up a little bit weird over here, but I'll basically explain and run you through exactly what you have to do. Okay, so basically what you're going to do, the reason why you can see it blue over here is because I've already got anti-micros like down or whatever the case, I've already set it up. So it is literally just making my dead zone lower. So you're going to click over here and it usually would have higher numbers over here. But you, basically what you want to do here is make this one zero and make this one one. Uh, it would have higher numbers over here, but you just want to change it. So you're going to change it for all six axes over here. One is for left stick, I mean left stick, right stick, whatever the case is. As you can see, um, whenever it's moving, it detects over here. So I've got a little bit of stick of the part the input delay is not restricted by the dead zone so you want to change for every single one of the axes over here. okay so now you see all of these buttons under here this goes up to 1 to 14 buttons what you're going to basically do is you're going to click on this you're going to go click advanced you're going to go click turbo and then you should click enabled over here it shouldn't be enabled and then once you click enabled you take this delay and make it all the way down to the bottom basically you want to do that for every single one um, you're just going to go to advanced 
we'll go back to turbo click enabled and then change it to the lowest possible setting on all of them that you possibly can do so yeah as you can see do it for all 14 okay so we've done all the steps for getting less input delay just take into account i am on 90 ping uh, which is actually quite low for where i stay but uh yeah this is what it feels like oh my gosh this feels like you guys probably won't be able to tell because i'm like really high thing but i genuinely feel this feels like butter oh my days i just want to say a big thank you guys for all watching and making to the end of the video if you guys do enjoy this content please hit the like button subscribe turn on notifications, all of that good stuff it really does help me a lot and yeah uh check you guys in the next one